Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that has sparked heated debates and strong opinions, the idea that feminism has ruined dating. Whether you agree or disagree, it's a discussion worth having. So, let's explore this controversial perspective and see what's really going on. First, let's clarify what feminism actually is. At its core, feminism is a movement aimed at achieving equality between genders. It advocates for women's rights and addresses issues such as gender discrimination, reproductive rights, and equal pay. But feminism isn't just a monolith. It encompasses various waves and ideologies, each with its own focus and methods. The first wave focused on legal issues like voting rights. The second wave tackled broader issues such as sexuality, family, and workplace inequality. The third wave expanded to include a diverse range of experiences, emphasizing individualism and diversity. And now, we're in what some call the fourth wave, which leverages technology to address contemporary issues like online harassment and intersectionality. Now how has feminism impacted dating? Critics argue that the movement has created confusion and tension between genders. They claim that traditional gender roles have been upended, making it harder for men and women to connect romantically. Let's break down some of these arguments. One common criticism is that feminism has made women more independent and career-focused, which some argue leaves less room for traditional relationships. Another point is that gender equality initiatives have led to uncertainty about gender roles in dating, who should pay for dinner, who should make the first move, and so on. While these changes can indeed lead to confusion, it's important to recognize that these shifts also empower individuals to pursue relationships on their own terms, free from outdated societal expectations. But let's delve deeper into both sides of the argument. This shift began in the 1960s with the rapid growth of the feminist movement, which gave women more control over their reproductive choices. Alongside the advent of birth control, this made casual sex more socially acceptable. Today, sex outside of marriage is commonplace and casual relationships have become the norm. As a result, many men now prefer casual relationships over marriage. Why commit when casual sex is easily accessible? We live in a society where sex has lost its value, becoming something we casually consume on TV and online. Hollywood frequently depicts casual sex within 24 hours of meeting, further normalizing this behavior. For those seeking serious, committed relationships, it's an uphill battle. The feminist movement has also led to a significant shift in gender roles. Initially, it aimed to empower women, which is commendable. However, it has evolved to a point where men are often portrayed as weak, while women are seen as the dominant boss babes. Hollywood often depicts men as stay-at-home dads and women as the primary breadwinners. While this progressive depiction is positive for some, it can be a turnoff for those who prefer traditional roles. Most women wants a man who protects, leads, and provides for the family, because it aligns with our natural design. Before feminism, traditional family roles were more defined. Wives typically managed the home and children while husbands worked outside. This dynamic, while not perfect for everyone, worked well for many. Today, women are expected to excel both at work and at home, leading to stress and dissatisfaction. Men, on the other hand, are afraid to be chivalrous, fearing backlash or being labeled as inappropriate. Even simple acts like holding a door open can be misinterpreted. This fear stifles genuine human connection and undermines potential relationships. In conclusion, while I support equal rights, I cannot stand with a movement that has become a war against men and a deviation from God's design. We need to return to valuing ourselves and our roles. Women should embrace their femininity and men should confidently step into their roles as leaders. To the men watching, you were created to be strong and lead. Embrace that and you will stand out. Women are naturally attracted to men who are strong physically, mentally, and spiritually. Thank you for watching. If you found this discussion meaningful, please hit the subscribe button to stay connected. I'm here to help you build your faith in Jesus, grow closer to him, and live a fulfilling life. God came to give us life abundantly. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. God bless and let's continue this conversation in the comments section. See you next time.